Well, normally on Wednesdays you hear us brag about our friends at Wings Etc. So we said, let's just bring in Wings Etc. This is the man, Scott. We always talk about his great restaurant. And always you probably hear us mentioning, oh, and today he's sponsoring this and sponsoring this. Now he is helping bring in the He Jazz Shrine Rodeo. It is coming to town. Scott, thanks for being here with Pretty Presley. Good to see you. And let's meet some of the people involved with the uh, He Jazz Shrine. We got Eugene Fowler. Hey. Byron <laughs> Shepard. Good morning. And then Brandon Newman on the end, last but not least. Scott, let's start with you. Why did Wings Etc. kind of team up with He Jazz to make this happen? Well, we sponsor as much as we can anyway, and why not partner with the Shriners. Obviously, I just became a Shriner. Hadn't Did you been really? At, oh, yay. Hadn't been at a year yet, but okay. so still learning. But uh, what what better partner to have than what the Shriners do? Well, explain all, exactly what all y'all do. So our fraternity is uh, established based on fun uh, to begin with, which yeah. what better way to have a good time and to have everybody to be able to come in, be a cowboy for a weekend than a rodeo. It's a great venture to, to endeavor. And as we go along the way, we raise money to help our children and our hospitals along the way. And, I, you know, you see I have my fez. Yes. So, Presley, would you help me out for just a moment? Oh, you so, train the cowboy hat? So what we do... Oh, that's legit. Oh, as Shriners, is we wear many hats. Yes. Each of us has our own venture that we endeavor to do and what we choose as a vocation. But we all come together as Shriners for our cause, and that's to raise money for these kids in these hospitals, and that's what this is all about. I love that. I love a good visual. Always going to remember that. You wear the, the mini hats. And one of the ways that we help raise money is by putting on the He Jazz Shrine Rodeo. So, guys, you know, anyone can step in. What kind of things are we going to see at this rodeo? What can we expect? So as we come back to the second annual rodeo, professional cowboys and cowgirls from all over, it's a sanctioned event through the International Professional Rodeo Association. So not only are you seeing cowboys that are coming from the area there in South Carolina, but they're traveling abroad. Cowboys from Brazil, Canada, Mexico, and all over the country here. Wow. Coming back again, they've heard about the rodeo because last year the rodeo that was put on was voted in the top five of best new rodeos in the nation for the International Professional Rodeo Association. Brings a lot of contestants come. They're here to win some money. That money counts so they can make it in the top 15 in the world for the International Finals Rodeo that's in Guthrie, Oklahoma in January. That's super cool. Are you going to be participating? No, but I, I won't be participating. I'll be helping out and making sure everything goes smoothly and we all have a good time. What's like the one event that everyone's like, all right, this is this is it. This is what I got to I got to make happen. The one main event that I seen last year had the most interaction and all the smiles in the stands was the uh, buck and bulls that <laughs> that was one of my favorite is seeing how long the Cowboys can actually ride and stay on that full eight seconds. And it's that eight seconds that we all go for. And it yep. looks like, I mean, I mean, that's like a second and a half. You know what I'm saying? And that that's was like actually good. last year. And that's like so good. It's like I can't imagine someone staying on any longer. And then the mindset, like right when you go to sit on, like I'm about to sit on something that only wants to throw me off. Well, eight seconds is a long time. And you see the saddle bronc rider that Walker McAbee, there, he was at the event there, drew a really good horse. Yes. Cowboys ridden many times at Pro Vents. But uh, this year, earlier this year, down in uh, Clemson at T.A. Garrison, he wins the, the South Carolina State Finals High School Rodeo Association. That's in, the in high school? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. 17 year old cowboy comes out and draws a really good horse, but he gets up and he does it again. He was yeah. entered there in the event. So, um, you know, you see him there. Uh, we call it a little trick and fancy riding, but Walker <laughs> McAbee, great guy here. From South Carolina, there. That's what. See, I like someone to cheer for. Like you got to know some. You know, it's from the inside. They, all right, you know, pull for that one. So, like when you go and those guys are doing that, they have no idea which one they're gonna get. So, no, the learn the stock contractor. It just so happens we have uh, hired a local stock contractor, Ken Treadway, right here from Lawrence, South Carolina. But he goes on and puts on majority of the rodeos for the International Professional Rodeo Association. Yeah. Right here from my home state, he's got top bucking bulls, top bucking horses. The cowboys follow that, so they know some of the animals. Gotcha. And, um, so they they follow that, and they know that when they go, those animals are drawn for that event. So they're all kind of equal, so they can compete and win for the weekend. See, that's cool. I like I like learning kind of the ins and outs of it. Where where is it going to be? Spartanburg Fairgrounds okay. is what we say. That is listed. It's Piedmont Interstate Fairgrounds. Okay. It's in Spartanburg, South Carolina, right outside the city. There, going to be over there on the fairgrounds. So out there, they have a racetrack. They have 
concrete grandstands. It is an outdoor event. So that's good. Rain or shine. Yeah. That's right. Rain or shine. Plenty of parking there in the yeah. parking lot there. And you, you come through and you'll see we have contestants that will go in one area and there's the ticket booth there that they'll come in right there close to the parking lot that they'll be parking in as spectators. I love it. And then what are the dates real quick? So um, this weekend, August 4th and 4th 5th. And 5th. Yep. Friday and Saturday nights. So Friday and Saturday evening. So that way as this heat's going down, it's going to be yeah. good. We're going to be right there. The gates you know, open at 6, right? That's right. We're going to open the gates at 6 and everyone can come in. The show's going to start at 7.30. That gives them a chance to come in early. There's a lot of vendors going on on the Midway. Just two months before the fair, we've already got the fair food there. We're going to have the sweets, the treats. Oh, yeah. So they come in, as they get them something to eat, something cold to drink as they're making their way through the seats as we go into that patriotic opening as we start our event. I love so, get some chicken nachos at Wings, et cetera, before we go. You, I'm giving that he's, he's being a little bit modest here. You know, we were talking about the Bulls earlier yeah. and the Bucking Broncos and so forth. Uh -huh. This guy, he is the ring leader. He gets in the middle of all this action. You know, as Shriners, we say we work hard and we play hard. This right. guy, he does both at the same time. He jumps in the middle of the ring and Look battles these bulls and rescues the riders. So don't don't let him play my. You're like on. everybody's fa I mean, if it's not for you, you know, th there could be some crazy stuff happening. Well, don't call so, me out. I don't have makeup on. Here, I know, so, so you gotta have the makeup, all the, the full gear. These people so. are gonna look for this guy that you were talking about. He's gonna be nowhere to find. Who's that clean faced? Yeah. <laughs> makeup and tights and so. Uh, it makes a difference. Tell me about it. Tell me about right. it. So it's all, all about having fun. I so. love it. Presley, real fast before we go, if we go eat at Wings, et cetera, what do you think we should get? I always do like mm -hmm. the chicken sandwich or there's chicken nachos. Anything else I should try? Mm. The wings. The, wi the, the wings. The, because of wings, <laughs> etc. That should be the, my favorite. What kind's your favorite? Just um, barbecue boneless wings. Yes, ma'am. She's a good one. She's a good one. Thank you so much, wings, etc. for doing all this. Thank you guys so much. Nice to meet you. We'll look for yeah. the makeup and tight. So.